Wow, all these plants are incredible. No kidding. There's so many shapes and sizes. It's incredible how varied plants really are. Take this yucca, for example. Not only do its leaves have this really cool triangle-like shape, but they're also arranged in a funky pom-pom shape that resembles a part of a sphere. Oh yeah, I wonder why it looks like that. Plants are often adapted to the environments that they grow in. In other words, plants grow best when they're well suited to the place they're growing. In that case, let's look at the yucca up close. What about its geometry makes it so well adapted to its environment? We did some research, and here's what we found out. First up, let's take a look at the leaves themselves. Compared to the other trees and shorter plants around us, they're incredibly thick and waxed, both features that help the plant store more water and prevent it from escaping once it's in there. Makes sense. Yucca grows in warm, dry climates. Keeping hold of water is important. That could be part of why the leaves are arranged like that, too. Think about what would happen when it rains. All those flat leaves arranged at steep upward angles from the ground would direct the water right toward the base where the yucca can soak it all up. The yucca also looks like a part of a sphere. A sphere is a three-dimensional geometric solid that looks like a ball. It has a center, and every point on its surface is the same distance from its center. We could imagine that the center of the yucca plant is the center of the sphere, and its straight leaves are like measures of the radius of the sphere. All the leaves lead to the center of the sphere where the yucca wants water to go. Oh yeah, having leaves in every direction means you can catch stuff no matter where it's falling from. That should work just as well for sunlight as it does for rain. While keeping the base of the plant shaded, the pom-pom shape is so useful. It's not only the main pom-pom that's doing the shading. Look at the trunk. As the yucca grows taller, the older leaves fold back and create a shaggy skirt of sorts. That keeps the plant even cooler, like a homegrown sun hat. Plants really are incredible. As we continue to walk around the gardens, let's be sure to keep an eye out for any other interesting shapes and adaptations. Sounds good to me. I bet we could find some of those super interesting plant shapes back home and at school too. 